Hey guys, Russell here. I make guide and race videos for iRacing here on YouTube. We are here for IMSA Season 1 2021. It's week 4. We're at Le Mans. It's an hour race this week. Uh, so don't forget, if you're not using my setup, and you know, please do give it a go and let us know how you get on with it. Uh, if you're not using my setup, don't forget to put in that extra fuel uh, for that extra 15 minutes of the race here. Um, tough tough track it's a long old lap there's a lot that can go wrong it's very very hard to string a consistent lap together here now uh, the example lap that i've got for you here um is uh, a 0.47 which is by no means the fastest lap but i picked this lap because it is the cleanest uh, and demonstrates uh, the techniques that should help you out here uh, pretty well i think at least let me know in the comments. Uh, good luck for your racing here this week. Hopefully I'll see you out there on the track. Um, but don't forget to download my setup. Uh, give my ghost cards a try. See how they help you out on the track out here this week. Um, the link to all of that is in the description below. Come and join us on the Discord. We've got nearly 500 members now. Uh, if you're looking for someone to race with. If you are looking for some help with your rig all your setup, uh, all your lap times, uh, come and drop by, say hi, and join the conversation there. Um, that's enough waffle from me. Good luck, guys, and I will see you soon. Cheers.
Hi guys, right, here's my breakdown of my 3 minute 47 lap here at Le Mans. Uh, there's definitely a lot more time on the table, um, but I think this, this lap sort of demonstrates quite tidily sort of the techniques really needed to sort of make our way around here. Okay, so we're sticking close over to the left after the far, um, start finish line and we want to make use of the outer limits of the track here and we're looking for the change in the track which is coming up now uh, and soon after this the pit lane ends uh, and the, there's a line that, that crosses the track that's going to signal our kind of easing off the accelerator and turning in uh, so that we can really line ourselves up for the Dunlop curves so we're just coming out of the coming out of the gas to, to sort of make this a bit easier and then we're immediately bringing in the brakes and we need to really sort of ramp it up we're going uphill so we've got good grip and we're down to second and we're going to start our turn and we really really need to attack this curb now um provided you apex relatively late so we're coming across the second half of uh the inside curb here uh, you can actually chew quite a lot of this off um without getting a slowdown and um, what this is going to allow us to do obviously is to really open up um the, the entry to the to the right hand uh, before we go under the dunlop bridge I'm sort of really, really progressive on the gas for a period of time. And then we drop out. We might not need, and in this case we didn't, not need to apply any more brake. We're going uphill, so the car's already relatively gripped. So we're going to get good turn in. Uh, so basically we just come out uh, of the gas. And then again, we're chewing off a good portion of the inside curb here. But because we're apexing quite late, we're not taking off uh, a part of the curb that's really going to sort of introduce, uh, sort of kick in the slowdown here. So we're back into the gas really progressively. It's very easy to lose the back end here. We're sticking far over to the left here, using every inch of the track, and then we're turning in at the end of the curbing so we can get really close to these cones. You have to be very gentle uh, with the steering inputs here it's very very easy for the car to get incredibly loose and light now as soon as these cones ends we're going to want to uh, hit the brakes come down to, uh, one gear to third and take a really tight line around to the left now we've got some some uh, nice curve in the track here that's good, really going to help us stick to the road so we drop into third we're going to turn in just at this little access path here and we're looking to that inside curb we want to get nice and tight to that and we've really bled out the brakes and we're back into the gas but we want to keep it tight to the inside of the curb here we don't want to break out wide we need to open up the next right hander now we're looking ahead to this light display this is going to be the signal for us to just introduce a little bit of break um it's a very very light braking zone but we just want to drag a tiny bit of break in towards that uh, apex and then we're back on the gas once we hit the apex now if you take off too much of this inside curb it's a horrific slowdown um you know as long as the the left hand side of the car doesn't go beyond the white line you're about okay uh, and then same on exit we've got to be particularly careful that we don't go too too wide here uh, we're just about within the realms there so we're going to hold a little bit of this right steering angle just so as we can get a good run down the straight here we're just gonna let the car float over to the left a little all we're really trying to do here is uh, we, we've had a fast corner with a fast 
a long period of acceleration now so we need to absolutely minimize our steering input so we're not scrubbing speed we can you know reach the absolute maximum uh, speed potential before the next braking zone so we're looking to the left we can see these buildings um, and then soon after the armco on the left is going to break away and we've got this orange guy here uh, and the yellow marker now you can see just as we're about to hit it we've started our braking and we're going to keep the car over to the left we can see this cone in the distance there's no guarantee that cone is still going to be there during the race uh, you know if you're if you're traveling with other cars the view is going to be blocked or you're uh, uh, someone that's going to have recently knocked the cone over so you can see the 100 board there and beyond that there's uh, another light board so we look into those and we're braking heavily now we're braking down to third and then as we pass the cone and this light board here we're starting our turn in we're still in third we're bleeding now quite heavily out of the brakes and we're once we hit this first apex we're gonna drop to second and we're gonna apply a bit more brake and we want ultimately to be back on the gas once we pass uh, these bollards these no cut bollards and we want to be tight on this curb but not uh, eating too much of it because there is a horrific slowdown to be had here so we're right on the limit here and then we're really really progressively into the accelerator so that we don't travel too far wide there we can take a little bit of the inside here and then just as we're accelerating full gas we don't want to introduce too much steering angle so we're letting the car move around here just so as we can maximize our exit speed and then i i personally just sit the car on the right here uh, other people might want to sit the car right slap bang in the middle of the track so we're going past the light box here on the right um we're watching for the boards there's the 300 we're going to break between the 200 and the 100 closer to 200 so probably about 170 and then we can see the bollard on the right past uh this little kind of break in the grass on the right in case the bollard's not there but just beyond this point is where we're going to start our turn in again uh like the last chicane we're going to just bring the car down to third ease out of the braking so that we're maintaining a reasonable amount of speed as we hit the first apex and then we're going to drop to second uh, and again keep it tight on the apex the second apex and we want to have that gas on as we pass those no cop bollards at the latest so we've we've basically treated these very very similar they are very similar just in reverse again we've allowed ourselves to come out wide you can cut the track on the right here no problems and then i just personally let the car float out to the left because we've got a big old um braking zone coming up and this is the side we want to be on after the brow so past the light box again we have a cone here uh no guarantees that cone's gonna be in existence if we were to go any further over to the left right now we would incur a slowdown by um you know essentially using too much track we're opening the the, the corner wider than we're allowed to um uh, so we need to stay uh no wider than having the middle of the car across this line um once we hit that 100 board we're we're gonna basically turn in towards that inside bit of curb on the right there and we're gonna break a little while before it Uh, so here we go we're just coming to the brakes now so a little while after the board um, and we're going to brake heavily essentially in a straight line here I think I might tip the wheel slightly to the right but we need to get ourselves all the way down to first so we're aiming uh, for this cone at the moment again there's no guarantee that cone's going to be there while you're racing it's the left hand uh, sign of those three uh, with the with the right 
angled uh, chevrons on it. We're going to sort of aim the car towards that and get our get it all the way down to first gear. And we're starting to bleed out. And then we're using that trail braking to really promote um, rotation in the car here. Um, now, those no cut bollards aren't going to hurt your car. But if you get too close to them, you are going to incur a hefty, hefty slowdown. So we want to be mindful of the inside curb here. And then as soon as we're on this apex, we're back in the gas really progressively. We don't, um, yeah, you know, the way the car is set up, it's got, it's got basically got no wing. So, um, you know, we need to be progressive. Otherwise, we are going to lose the back end really quite easily here. So again, we want to absolutely minimise uh, our inputs here. So we're just going to let the car gradually fade over to the right. So take this little right. Um, and then we're coming up to the Toyota sign. Again, over to the right. And then we're looking to these boards. And when once we hit the 100 board, we are going to just brush the brakes for a little while, drop to fifth, keep our, keep our foot hovering over the brake, bring the car in tight and then reapply the brake. So what I've basically done there is I haven't really taken my foot off the brake through that process, but I have dropped it right back. Uh, now what this is going to do is it's going to stop the car from getting super, super loose uh, coming around this corner. It's so easy to pull donuts uh, coming into this corner it's ridiculous so just hovering over that brake is going to help us keep the car balanced and then when we actually want to apply the brakes properly around about here um, the car isn't floaty isn't going to is much less likely to skid on you or at least from my experience anyway um, so we're looking to the little bit of curbing here on the right we're going to get right down to second and then we're going to lean the car in. We've got some lovely camber here to play with. Get tight on the curb and we're already back into the gas again, nice and progressively slow and steady with the accelerator here. So we've got a nice clean exit. Now, relatively tricky braking zone here. The car gets very light, but you can see uh, there's these uh, tire marks in the road. Um, now it's going to take a little bit of time to learn where to judge, but I tend to go just after um, the first tire mark that that uh, crosses them horizontally here that you can see. And then we're into the brakes. We're all the way down to first. We're using the cone on the left, or if the cone's not there, then the little bit of uh, green and white. Uh, curbing uh, as a target for the car. And then we're going to really bleed out of the brakes quickly to promote that turn in the car. Use a little bit of the inside curb if you need. And then back on the gas really, really steady. You can go out as wide as the wall. Obviously, you don't want to use the wall. Uh, and then actually you can sit the car right over to the left here. You're not going to get a slowdown. Um, so you can really, really make this track really piece of track really, really short. Now we're looking to the boards on the left here. And then after the 100 board, before uh, this green patch, we're going to apply the brakes relatively heavily for a brief period of time we're going to drop the car down to fourth and then come in nice and tight here we want a late apex so that we can be over the right hand side of the track here and then lean the car in to the left it's very very easy to overshoot the exit of this simple looking corner and side swipe the wall um just be mindful of it. The wall comes up a hell of a lot quicker than you think it's going to. Um, it's so easily done. Now what we're going to do is just drop out the gas here 
and lean as we as we've shifted the weight in the car over to the left um and it's really going to help the, promote the car to lean into the left here so we can get back on the gas again for a period here and we're going to cross the track diagonally now point ourselves in towards the inside edge of the white line um and at the last moment we're going to dip into the brakes drop down to third and let the car swing round to the right now don't try and do this too quickly because you will just sort of spin the car and if you over rev and things like that there's problems there but um what we've done effectively is just just bleed enough speed with the gear shift and a little bit of brake uh, so that we can really hold ourselves around tight on the right here again we need to be well over to the right hand side here it's very easy to drift out wide if you stay in fourth here and we need to be right over to the right hand side here because we need to pop a little bit of brake and lean in uh, to this next left hander um, uh, lots of slowdown potential coming up here uh, and it's very easy to spin the car here so what we need to do is just as we reach straight here we're going to drop out of the accelerator just come into a tiny bit of break for a very brief period immediately pull out of it and then as soon as we know we're pointed well into this inside curb here as soon as we're pointed nice and tight here we know we can get back into the gas in a really slow and progressive manner and make this exit lots of slowdown potential here um but this is perfectly permissible we can get this far out so let's just go back and watch that in one go because uh, it's a really it's a really gentle and smooth action to get this corner working fast for you so we'll just come back to here so out of the gas pop the brake very gently make sure the car's turned in and then slowly back into the gas we're going to keep the car over to the right hand side now and just sort of take the shortest route between this these gradual corners and we're going to look to the pit lane up ahead i'm going to want to pop the car slightly over into it and we're looking for the end of the pit lane this yellow blob here about halfway along the pit lane we want to start braking at a slight angle uh, in towards the track trying to keep the car as far over to the right as we can but obviously not hitting um, the curbing on the right because that's really going to upset the car and we're going to come down to third and then just as we're taking the first apex which you can eat quite a lot of uh, we're going to drop down to second and then let the car travel maybe have a little bit of gas here and we're looking to the hatching on the right now we want to point the car a little bit that way and then a little bit of brake chew off these curbs and immediately back into the gas nice and gently and taking us down to finish our three minutes 47 like i say there is a lot more time on the table here um it's incredibly hard to string this mammoth lap together uh consistently um but if you can get your exits right uh coming out onto the long straights you're going to be winning half the battle here slow in fast out for those corners just to make sure you can build up as much speed as you possibly can hope you have a really good week of racing here let us know how you get on in the comments uh if it's been helpful please do remember to hit like hit subscribe uh and uh hit the bell for notifications of future videos and live streams um Good luck and hopefully I'll see you out there on the track at some point this week. Cheers guys.